morning everybody it's Francine here again today from New Zealand uh, lovely to see you all this morning um, I've been out and um, I've gathered some plant material we're doing a lot of uh, work in our garden at the moment so I've been out and I've gathered my aloe I gathered some the other day because they hold a lot of water good morning everyone lovely to see you today um, and uh, yeah, so I went out and I, I've, I've been cleaning up the garden with my husband Ashley and uh, we've got two acres where we live and so i um been doing a lot of gardening so when we're finished which should be in another week or so i'll take you for another little walk and you can see what we've been up to uh so good morning everyone so anyway i've been and i've gathered um a few extra bits and pieces this morning from the garden and i've got some lovely aloe vera plants here uh, that i've cut and i've let dry and I've also got some alpha lilies. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you two different little concepts, quite easy, uh, that you could just use from whatever you've got. If you haven't got aloe, you can use other um, turgid type of plant material to be able to give the same look or the same concept anyway. So um, lovely to see you all this morning. Good morning to the UK and, and Pakistan and England and Scotland, Ireland. And also uh, to everyone else that's around here in New Zealand and uh, and Millie over in I'd love to see you as well this morning and Margaret um, and all those in the, in the states that are having a bit of a bit of a hurricane going through and everyone else around the world I hope you're all taking care and looking after yourselves so um, anyway I'll get back to this um, so what I've got here is I've got a, a pin holder this is a really one now a lot of you have seen me use this before good morning and if my son Jack is watching mama loves your son <laughs> So I know he's been posting and I haven't been saying hello. So hello, Jack. Um, so anyway, I've got my pin holder here and these are what they are. And they're really good. They used to use them years ago. I've done a little workshop on what pin holders are. So these are nicer ones, they're rubber ones. And here in New Zealand, the girls that make um, from the, the Marae that teach how to use harakiki, which harakiki is the Mary name for flax or formium and how they shred it using a pin holder to do their beautiful weaving. Uh, very talented and it's lovely to be able to, to see what they do with it. But we use them also for holding flowers and these have been around for years, but they're coming back into vogue because we're not using floral foam as much anymore. So um, I've got a couple of different options. So I'm just gonna use my bigger dish for now. Good morning, everyone. So I'm just gonna use my bigger dish for now. And um, I've got my pin holder in here. And um, I'm just going to put here, so what I've got is I've looked at my plant material. And this is a crucial part when you're picking your plant material and you're not sure what to use. Um, just, I'm, I'm looking at the line and I'm looking at the rhythm and I want this design to come over. And the beauty about the pinholes, you just spike them on. And I want to really concentrate on the line. So that's all I'm doing with this one. I'm really thinking about the line of the plant material, where I would like it to go. I'm just going to have that. I'm wanting to have that movement coming forward and all going on one directional pull. So that one hasn't got as much movement. This one's got lots of movement. So it's got a lot of rhythm. It's got a good beat to that one. So, um, yeah, so we've been getting a lot of emails about how do you use these pin holders, Francine. So that's why I thought I'd show you options and also different ideas on using the aloe vera. And um, we just, I took a load to the tip the other day. The trailer was absolutely full and I've got another two to pull out so if anyone around Tauranga wants any there's plenty here you can come and help yourself I'm pulling them out um, I'm just going to leave a couple because they're overtaking the rest of the garden so now I'm really looking I want that directional pull I want it to all come over this way um, but I found a couple of really interesting ones so I thought I'd bring them to the front of the container whoops a dozy there goes something going bang crash um, and I'll put a couple more in here really looking at that line I think I might put that one over a little bit more so it's really just playing with the line and getting the movement and the line that you want to concentrate and space in this design is quite key because we want to have that bit of space to be able to show off the flowers I might pull that one a bit further back and this one here so I've cut these just with a knife it's just like cutting butter so you just cut them with a the knife they're really juicy so always have a cloth handy for when you're cutting them and using them so I'll just put another one in through here. Now I have been getting a lot of questions about would I do a online demonstration. Um, I'm thinking I might do one actually and do it through you, my YouTube channel. Um, so I will let you know the dates on that. Uh, and I thought rather than doing just one for different people, I might just do a big group one um, and show you some really different ideas that I've been doing and working on through lockdown and just share it so everybody can get a little bit of inspiration and um, because that's the whole idea is sharing from each other and learning from each other. 
So the, just see that lovely rhythm and the beauty about the spikes is you can just keep spiking until you're happy with them um, and just arrange them and it just holds them beautifully. You don't need foam, so it's, it's wonderful. I'm just thinking I might put a little one that comes back here maybe. Put that one so it sits there. So now I've really got that lovely line coming over. It's quite simple. Nature's done all the work, so don't fight it. I think that's key. Good morning, Mardu. Hello, Mardu, my friend. I miss you. And, and but she's over in Sydney, and um, I haven't seen Mardu for a while, but we keep in contact, which is really nice. So I've um, got some here, some lovely. Um, these are my elfin lilies. I'm just going to manipulate them a little bit. They're full of water. And so I'm just quite turgid, so, but I really want to look at the line and the rhythm that they're creating. And again, I'm going to put them in and follow the line for the directional pull on my eye. So I really want that. And white is so dominant. So see how that's quite straight. So I'm just going to gently manipulate it with my hand. Have a talk to it. Come on, buddy. Away you go. Just give it a good bend. Wow. And I'm going to get that lovely line to come through. And again, just spike it. I really want that one to come over. Might need to take a little bit shorter. I'll put that one on that little spike in there. I should see if I can get that in there. I've been spiking lots of things on this, so I might have to put it in through that one. Pull it down a little bit. Look at that lovely line, that lovely rhythm coming through. Do a little bit of manipulation in through there. So I hope you're all well out there. There's been some gorgeous demonstrations going on. Really been enjoying watching them and seeing what everyone's been up to. Now I'm going to pull one right back because white is so dominant. If I put one right back there, it's going to take my eye right over that whole design rather than starting here with the white. So I've got another one here. These are just, um, just what I had in the garden. And I've been getting a few questions about how to make bouquets. So I'm actually going to show you how to make a couple of uh, wedding bouquets. Lovely to see you all this morning. And I hope you're all, like I say, I hope you're all going really well out there. I'll right, put another one in there. Just tuck that in. Put that one in there. I no, don't like that one there. Cut a little bit shorter. I'm going to take this one back a little bit. Pull it right down and to take, give a bit of gradation in here as well. Take my eye in rather than having all the flowers on the top. So now my eye's going back in there. So it's just showing just a really simple look this morning um, with this one. But I do have another design that I was going to show you straight after this because I thought this won't take me long. So I'm just going to put that one in through there, take my eye right over. Again, I'm following the line. Just something quite simple like that, just on the sideboard will look amazing. If you want to, you can put a couple of leaves in, but sometimes I like the space. But I'll just have a little look and see if I like it or not. Just again, just manipulating it. And through here. Do we like that in there? No, this is more. I think I just want to keep it quite simple. So now what I do is just put a little bit of water in here just to keep those alphans alive. Um, and also you probably find that those aloe vera will actually start to grow and spike up. So I'm just going to put these ones in here, just a few strands around each. Oh, now I'm dropping them on the floor. And I love that little swirl coming down the front of the container. Put a few more of these in. But pop them in there and what I've got here is I've also got a couple more I might just put one little one in here that curls around let's put that one in through here just give it a little bit of manipulation get it to come right round to follow my eye bringing it through just put one little one in there that's it just so it takes my eye around with that color as well just an extra little form to come through no, don't like it. Space is better. <laughs> Less is more. So that's just showing you a very simple, simple way of doing flowers. And really look at your plant material and look at the line that it's, it's showing off. That on the sideboard would look amazing. But what I like about this is I could do two. So I'd have one here, one facing the other way, and then just a bowl of flowers in the middle using those same forms. And it's a lovely table centerpiece that would take right along the whole table. So that's just showing you that one. Something quite simple. Now, a while ago, when I first started doing these, I showed you how to make these by using bird spikes. Um, these are the bird spikes that go on the fence to stop the bird coming along, like, standing on and pooping on your fence. So these are what they stop them from landing. I've actually screwed this one onto this board. Now, I've shown you how to do this a couple of weeks ago, so if I can pull that up, so I'll share that link with you so you can have a look at how I did it. 
because if you can't get the bird spikes there is another way of using kebab sticks and then I've just got my test tubes that I've zip tied on here but you can use paper coated wire and then I've got a little bit of um, hay just on the bottom I use just a bit of cold glue and then just put a bit of hay to give a little bit of texture but also because what I'm going to do next is I don't want the sap or the juice from the aloe going onto the timber and looking all messy so it'll sit nicely into that uh, when we do this next bit and this is quite a fun one to do so I just thought I'd show you this little one as well because we had plenty of time so I hope you're all good lovely to see oh, I love going that's oh it's lovely to hear from you too it's really lovely um and so all I'm going to do it's quite simple you just you know arrange them beautifully and you spike them on and again, looking at the line of the plant material coming through, how you want it to sit. I might have to take this one off the turntable, actually, because it's just going to make it a little bit harder to get it to balance. But I'm going to show you a couple of little tricks that I've been doing. So you just spike them on here. Again, looking at the rhythm and looking at the line, letting the plant material do the talking, rather than you trying to get it to go where it doesn't want to go. And it's just so simple, just spiking them on. Spike it on there, onto the bird spikes. Throw another one into there, put that one in there. Now they may want to turn, so I'm going to show you a little trick if they want to turn. But I'm rather liking the rhythm, and again, I'm talking about line, and this is quite a strong line in this design. Very strong um, and textural contrast too, because we've actually got on the elo, you've got the little spiky bits on here, which just adds a different texture look to it. I'll put a few more of these on here. That one can go up just a little bit. Take a couple of little ease down, down nice and low. Isn't that fun? I just sometimes I think we tend to overthink what we're doing, and we really need to look at the fun way of doing designing. Um, so this is just such a neat little one, and these will hold because you know what they're quite turgid. Now, if you can't get it to hold where you want it to go, you can just give it a little bit of encouragement by letting it sit next to its friend. So give it a friend so it sits nicely next to it. Look at that! A couple of buddies there stuck together. So I'll put that there, and then I'm going to put another one in through here. I want quite a few of these in here. And then I'm going to keep spiking, but when they start to turn, I'll show you what I do. I'll get one up here like this, and then I've got like a little, get my little knife, or you can get a little prong. I've got a little prong in here somewhere. Where did I? Here we go. And you can just spike a little hole in it very carefully. Spike a little hole. And then just use this tip, and you can actually thread through them. And you get that lovely rhythm and they'll hold on and keep each other company and then you don't have to worry about them like these ones too are very strong down this end so i'm just going to cut that one needs a little cut on the tip and the beauty about this is that these will stay on here for ages so you can just keep changing your fresh flowers um, and getting the fresh flowers i'm just using a spike because i don't want to to tear the aloe i just want to get it so it sits in there like that this one here can go back in there where I had it. I don't know where I had that one. Probably had that one over here somewhere. That one was in there. So I've just give them a little bit of fun to play with. They're not behaving. And then pop a couple little baby ones down in through here. So I went out and I had a look. So we're doing a lot of gardening at the moment. And Ash is putting in a lovely um, uh, row of fruit trees that we're going to spalliate. And then I'm putting in my beautiful irises. Into, into their varieties so um, I can get them all together and uh, yeah love my irises so I've got quite a few different varieties so I'll show you my little collection when we go for another garden walk in a couple of weeks I thought you'd enjoy having a look I've been getting a lot of questions Francie we haven't seen all your garden again we'd love to see what it's doing in winter so we can see what's happening in New Zealand well I'm very happy to share it with you and I've been loving the little walkthroughs in the UK seeing what they're doing and in Ireland See, isn't this interesting just looking at the line? Quite simple. Um, and one that you can get that's going to hold. So I've got a couple little baby ones here. I'm just going to put a couple little ones up. Give a little bit of space. Again, it's about repetition of line. Repetition of form. And pattern. To give it unity as we're working together. Whoops, that one there's a bit torn in there. I think I stood on that one. So when I went to the tip, I'm very good at driving the trailer. So I went to the tip and... Um, Took a huge trailer load to the tip of aloe. My trailer was absolutely overloaded. Um, and so it was quite good being able to take it. So there we go. Just a little bit more in there. I'm going to do another little spike into this one. Just to get them to hold. I won't use my knife on that one. It's just 
pop it in. See, they spike into each other. They're so much fun. I just love it. I love all the rhythm and I love nature. Nature's done the work. So sometimes it pays just to play with what nature's done instead of trying to battle against it all the time. I think that's with a lot of things, really. So, right now, is that one going to hold into there? I might need to do one more little spike into this one. Turn that one round, get him to go into there like so. If I can. I'm just need to make a little point there. A little bit fleshy, that one. So, see if he'll go in. You've kind of got to use the hard end. May not go. That's okay. I'll tuck it in like that. So what do you think? Do you like the line there? So the other what I've done is I've gone for a little walk around the garden. So could you imagine this along a huge table centerpiece? Absolutely stunning. Very um, affordable to make. And I'll do a worksheet with all these things on it. I haven't been doing them because I've been a little bit crazily busy lately. I've been trying to help Ash in the garden and I thought that was a bit more important this week uh, because we want to get these trees and we've got all these fruit trees and we need to get them in. Oh, and I'm just going to fill up my vials with some water. Make sure, and this is a good one. If you wanted to, you could even use, um, I keep talking about these daffodil bulbs, and I'm going to have to show you what I mean by that, because people keep asking. But I could use daffodil bulbs um, upside down with all the roots coming up and through here. But I'm trying to keep these lines very, very clean. I didn't want to have a lot of busyness. I want just one variety of flower in here. I don't want a whole lot of varieties of flowers. Just keep it quite simple. I'll put that one in through there. If you haven't got one of these, make sure you get one. They're fabulous. So then I went down and I've treated all my hellebores so that they would last. So I'll just put that one in through there. And I'm just going to pop a few hellebores in through here. Just let that colour come through. And again, I don't want to overcrowd them, so I'm just going to be very selective where I've got these. But this one can go out through the back here, but that one's branching, so they'll get the one to come in. So, and then I've got a few different varieties. So I think I put this gorgeous, I love this one. This is just so pretty. Such a pretty colour. I've got a few of these ones, I'll just put them out through here. Keeping it just the one variety with a long of that strong form of those aloe veras. Put that one in through there. Oh, they're just so pretty, aren't they? Just such a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. These are nice. This is quite a different one as well. I went and bought some more the other day, so I've put them more into the garden got a gardening group coming through in a couple of weeks so I just wanted to make sure I had everything tidy when we get the veg get the fruit trees in so what else have I got here got another gorgeous one so you could make this just full of your spring mix if you wanted to or specialties that you've got in the garden that you want to just show those few varieties off and you've only got a few flowers by just using the one variety it gives more impact than having a whole lot of busyness so um, that's what I'm trying to do here just have a look see if I really like this one Put this one in through here. Is there any questions? Oh, I think I'm glad you really like the arrangement. That's wonderful. It's just something different, you know. I think when we're using a lot of these different flowers, it's like sometimes you don't quite know what to do with them. So um, I thought, well, and when you've made this mechanic, being able to use something more than once is key because uh, you put a lot of work into them. So if you can rebank them and change them up a little bit, let's turn that one around so that you can see what I've done there. I'm not sure about that one on either if I like it or not. This one here, oh, it's too high. I think I'm going to put this one in. I really like that one. Put that one down in there. That's better. Have a little discussion with them. One more in. So I do a lot with aloe and um, I'll show you another little concept as well because these aren't taking me very long to make. just want to put another little friend up this end. Tuck that one in. I don't like to waste them because I've picked them. So I'll pop these ones in through there. Put that one in there. Right there. Isn't that just so interesting? So you could go as light as you want or as heavy as you want with your plant material. But that's just showing that one. And that's just using your aloe vera on the spike, spiking them on there, but if you haven't got the bird spike, think about using kebab sticks, just drilling in and then skewering them onto the kebab sticks, but make sure you put something on the bottom so that when the sap comes through, 
it's not going to make a mess. These ones I've let dry so they're not as bad on the end, um, but having it so they're just sitting nicely in that bed will also stop them from turning around. So that's that one there. So I might show you one more little concept I was mucking around with this morning. If I can find what I did with it. I may not have, may not, oh here we go. There are other options you can do. I'll just set that one to the side. So I've got my little spike here like this. So what I might do is I'm just going, I've got a whole lot here that I've picked. And then all I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to put them on here around the spike. Now I would have normally painted that spike so you don't see it. Now I'm making sure that where they're curving is how they're going to lock into each other. And I'm turning it around as if I was making a bouquet with all the juicy bits at the top. And I'm more looking at the line and the rhythm that it's creating at the bottom. Now because I've got a funny hand, I'll probably have to do a couple of ties on this, so just to get it to hold. I'm just using paper coat of wire, but be very careful when you tie these. You'll have to be firm, but go over a couple of times because you don't want it to um, cut into them. So you can't use just your normal wire, so you can just go around here like this. That base is very dominant, but it's really just showing you the idea here. I'm going to let that come down a little bit, probably do a couple more. Now what I can do now is I've got some nice pins, so if I wanted to, I could do some pinning. Pin a couple of them on. Going around again. Oh, drop that one. Pin them on around here. So just pinning them on. I think I've left the other pins on the other side, so I'll just put three pins in because I'm just giving you the idea here with this one. So that one will go in here. And the beauty about this is you can either embed into here some test tubes that you can put in between the gaps. Pop that one up a little bit and make it a little bit tighter and you can just pop a couple of test tubes in. That'll get it to hold. Again, this looks amazing if you want to do a whole row of them. Um, and just have all these, so you have all the nice stems coming down along a piece of timber or a board or a stand. Put that down out of the way. And the beauty about this one is what you can do here. Just if you're very careful and you use your little spike, you go into the juicy part of the aloe vera and you use that as your water source. Now I've only got a few flowers here that I was going to show you with this. I got a bit distracted when I was doing this. Then I'm just going to use a couple of these little ones here. Got some erosemas. Got a couple of erosema coming down and through there. Bring that one down a little bit. Take it down. Doesn't want to go down. It will go down. But using the aloe vera as your water source for your plants gives another whole look. Now I might actually just pinch that one out of that one there and you can pop that one in if you want to pop it in here into the tube. Take that one up a little bit, put that one down. So it's just showing you another whole concept about actually using your aloe veras. I'm not sure if I want to take those out actually. I might just have a little, have a little bit of a play here for a moment. I've been getting a lot of people saying, but we've got aloe vera's seen on them. We just want some different ideas on what to do with them. Well, this is just about having fun, really, at the end of the day, isn't it? Just really enjoying just working with your flowers and coming up with different ideas. And the easiest way when you're doing flowers is just to play. Don't be afraid to give it a go and just try it. And um, really looking forward to it. We've got our area day tomorrow. Um, which is where all our clubs come together. So I'm really looking forward to catching up with everyone. It's been a while since we've seen everyone. So it'll be really, really good fun to go and catch up. So this is just another little concept showing you how to use this one. Something a little bit different. Just turn it around. I really don't like that white flower in there. Excuse me, I'm going to put you back where you belong. You belonged in that one. So, um, and just turn this around. This is just what I would call a quirky one. And if I had the correct plant material, it would look a lot nicer than this. But it's just showing you, don't be afraid to try different things. Have a little bit of fun when you're working and playing with your plant material. So I'll just turn that one around so you can see what I'm up to. Oh, that needs to go into the tube. That's what I was missing, that one. But I need something now to link them all together. 
that one up and through here for that in the tube. So I might just even wrap a little flat, a leaf right around that whole design. So take that right around and you can just wrap that right in through there. But this is just a fun little piece just to show you that when I've actually done these before and I've had big long rows of them, you end up with quite a neat little look, something a little bit different. And it's just about playing with your plant material and loving it and enjoying your flowers. Hello in the USA. I hope you're okay over there. And I'm lovely to see you in France as well. So there you go. So that's just showing you a couple of concepts of using the aloes. There's so many more ideas that I could share with you. I just absolutely love doing these different little quirky things, just showing you different concepts. And um, I really hope you enjoyed those ones today. So that was our little one today. Our, uh, just three very quick designs using aloe vera spikes. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Hello, Adrian in Dublin. Lovely to see you this morning. And in, uh, where is that one? And, and also in the US. I can't quite read the name from here. But I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. And uh, Fred will be back again soon. Um, if you're looking at joining a floral art group, just keep sending those messages through and um, keep contact with each other online as well. It's a really good way to find out what we're all about. Even though some people around the world can't catch up with everyone, being a member of a group is just, oh, it's just great. And this is a really good time for us all to share. So everyone have a wonderful day. Take care and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.